In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to upload files to Bluehost or how to upload a full HTML website to Bluehost. It's actually very simple and straightforward to do. Just pay close attention to ensure you get every step correct. So let's get into it. Now, first of all, we need to log into our Bluehost dashboard. And if you haven't got a Bluehost account yet or you haven't got a subscription, then use the link in the top of the description. You'll get sent to a page that looks like this. You'll get a free domain for one year and 75% of your hosting. So it's a great deal overall. So click on the link in the top of the description, click get started now, sign up, and then you get your account. Now, once you've done that, you should be brought into a page that looks like this. And from there, we can go ahead and go to the hosting tab here. And we're going to scroll down to where it says cPanel. Once we've clicked that, it's going to open up a thing that looks a bit like this. And from here, we want to go over to where it says file manager. Now, if we want to upload our live or live to our website on the main domain, then go ahead and go into the public.html section and we can upload our files here. And this is going to go live onto our domain. This is the public HTML um, folder, I guess. Now, what we can do from here is we can go ahead and we can actually add a new folder inside of here. So we go to the top, we'll go to where it says folder. And we can call this whatever we want. So we can say new website like that. We can click create new folder and it's going to, we're going to go in here. This is going to be our new folder we just created. And inside here, we can go ahead and press upload and we can actually go ahead and upload the different files that we want to. So click the upload button. And now it's going to bring us a page that looks like this. Now we can click select a file here or we can click and drag it in. Now once it's done, you can click this button here and this is going to go back. And you can see the file that I uploaded is now sitting here like this. Now if this was a um, zip folder, we could actually go ahead and click on it and we could go ahead and extract it. Obviously this is not so we can't do that. You can also compress it, but extracting it is going to be useful for getting files out of a big zip folder. Now any changes that you've actually gone ahead and made to this, so if you've un zipped a folder for example or you've extracted it go ahead and press up uh, reload this is going to basically update the um, thing here so you can actually see what's actually going on inside of the folder now if we had just uploaded a full website into here html what we could do is we could click and select on all of the different files and then we go ahead and click move and then we go ahead to the location we can just remove the new from it move them into the public.html click move files and then if we go up one level, we could refresh it and the new file should be in here. We'd have to override the old files, but basically that would be good enough to go on the website. Then if we were to go ahead and actually view the live website, our new website URL, our new URL website HTML would be on that site and it would be working. So that's basically how you do it. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that helped you out. Thank you for watching.